Hi everyone. Uh, all of you are welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, Teaching and Learning. Uh, here today we are going to learn about the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint uh, is a, a very powerful tool that specially used for uh, presentation, presentation purposes. That means uh, if you are having some kind of project, then you want to uh, present that project in front of an audience. In that case, uh, you want to uh, you can create presentation slides by including uh, the uh, short summary summary of your project. Then uh, we'll see how can I use uh, PowerPoint for your uh, various kind of presentation works. Right, in the computer, that first we'll see how can uh, open the presentation. Uh, there are many uh, ways to open the presentation. Uh, one of the most common way is uh, by double clicking the uh, PowerPoint icon that appear on the uh, desktop. Or you can uh, click on the icon that appear in the taskbar. The taskbar is the uh, that bottom uh, bar, bottom area of the uh, computer on your desktop environment. Uh, or you can open the PowerPoint by clicking the start button here in the taskbar left corner. You have in the start button. Click on the start button here. Then you can uh, find the PowerPoint uh, icon. Uh, here, uh, PowerPoint icon uh, you can find here by scroll down, uh, scroll down, then find the option called uh, Microsoft Office. So otherwise, you can uh, straight you can find the PowerPoint icon here. Then also you can open it by searching. In here, search in bar is available on your desktop environment. Uh, click on your mouse on the uh, bar here, search in bar, then uh, type PowerPoint. Once you type the PowerPoint, then uh, it is immediately appear the PowerPoint icon on your uh, start bar. Right Now click on the icon here. Once you click on the icon here, then it will open the PowerPoint. Right Here the first environment, first uh, screen of the PowerPoint. Uh, look at the environment here. Uh, here having some option under new, uh, blank presentation, uh, health and fitness, welcome to PowerPoint, like that. Uh, there are many uh, templates here. You can select one of the templates here, but uh, if you are new to the PowerPoint, the best thing is uh, click on the blank presentation. You are going to create a new presentation. The best thing is click on the blank presentation. Therefore, now I am going to uh, click here. Right. Once you click the blank presentation, now uh, you are moving to the screen like that. Now uh, going through the screen here, here you have in uh, top menu, uh, then some small uh, short icons there. Uh, then main menu, you can find a file home insert design like that. Uh, then again, you can uh, find uh, some shortcut icons. Altogether, this is called in this area is called ribbon. This area is called ribbon. Right. Then uh, come to the middle area. This is the uh, place where you are design or you are uh, create your presentation. Actually, in the PowerPoint to create the presentation, it uh, having uh, slides. What is called slides? Slides we are using to create the presentation. But uh, in if you are familiar with the Word environment, in that case you are having documents to create the documents, right? Then if you are having some experience regarding the Excel, in that case, Excel having worksheet like that uh, in the PowerPoint, you are having uh, slides, slides to create the presentation. Actually, uh, the first slide you can see in the uh, left corner in this bar here, left corner, there is a bar. Uh, this bar uh, showing all of your working slides. Up to now, you have only one slide. Uh, that's the default one. Uh, that is why it says uh, it showing only one slide. Right. Uh, then uh, the first slide appear. How you appear uh, is like that. Here, uh, having uh, some two boxes that is called placeholders. Here in this slide, you are having two placeholders. You can use this clause placeholders to insert text insert text for your slide. 
right? For example, uh, suppose you want to insert some title here, the main title, uh, suppose uh, introduction, uh, introduction to computers, computers like that. If you are, your main title, your project title or any other title, uh, you have to put uh, in the first slide. Then uh, second uh, placeholder for inserting subtitle. If you are having uh, under introduction computers, uh, you are going to uh, teach or you are going to present about computer hardware. Right? Then you can use this uh, subtitle. Uh, you can uh, use that second placeholder to insert the subtitle. Uh, then if you have uh, insert more than uh, this main title and the subtitle, then suppose for example, you want to insert your name, right? that person who are present in the slide, then how you are going to insert another text here. Right? In that case, if you want to insert text, uh, to the PowerPoint slides, then you have to use the object called text boxes, text boxes. Through the text boxes, you can insert text, right? Then we'll see how can insert the text box on your slide here. These text boxes you can find uh, in the group called drawing. This drawing group is available under home tag, right? Here that earlier I mentioned it, you can see the main menu or main tabs here file uh, home insert design like that this drawing uh, group is available under home therefore make sure you are clicking on the home right click on the home then go to the drawing tab in the drawing tab uh, in this side this left side having uh, some small small icon you have uh, many icons here. By clicking the small arrow, you can uh, see all the icons available in the uh, this presentation. Uh, select the text box from here. The text box is the icon like that. The first icon in this list, in the first icon is the text box. Right. Click on the text box here. Once you click on the text box, it's selected. Now uh, get your mouse to the slide environment. Now select the place where you want to insert the text, suppose uh, in this area. Right Now uh, drag uh, using the mouse. Then uh, it will insert the text box here. Right Now you can insert your name. Right? Uh, for example, suppose uh, your name is Nimal. Nimal uh, Atapattu. In that way, you can insert the name and also you can uh, insert uh, your other details there. Right. That's the way how you can insert text on your slide. Uh, right. Then when you are uh, uh, designing or creating the projects or uh, any uh, similar kind of things, it is not enough to uh, use in one slide. Actually, this first slide for title. Then you want to uh, present your objectives, uh, then uh, other details of the project or presentation. Therefore, you need more slides. You need to add uh, more slides on your presentation. Right. Then we'll see how can add a new slide to your on your presentation. Right. To add the new slide, then uh, make sure you are in home tab right here in the uh, left corner left top corner, you can see home here. This is the home tab. Click on the home tab. Actually, that by default, uh, already selected it. However, make sure that you are in home tab. Click on the home. Then uh, move to the slide group, right? In here, in the left area, uh, you can have, uh, look at my uh, mouse pointer moving the place I'm moving my mouse pointer slides. This is the area, uh, this called, this area called slide group, slides group, right? Here you have new slide, option called new slide. Right. Click on the uh, new slide here, this arrow, there is a small arrow, click on the here. Once you click on there, then you can 
see uh, slide templates, slide themes here. Right? You can uh, follow one of the uh, formatted slide theme or uh, if you want to design your own one, the best thing is click the blank. Okay? Click the blank. Therefore, I am going to click here, uh, blank one here. Once you click the blank, then you can see in left, left corner in this bar, having uh, adding a new slide. The previous slide is slide one. It indicate as slide one. If you want to move to the previous slide, click on here. Then if you want to uh, go to the newly added slide, that means slide number two, click here. That's the way you can uh, add in slides. If you want to add another slide, then you can follow the same steps. Right, go to the home tab, then uh, look at the uh, slide group here, then click new slide, then select the one of the uh, slide that which you want to insert. Right, black that I am selecting here, black. Right. Uh, now I am selecting the second one here. Right. Selected the uh, second slide here. Uh, that time, uh, remind again uh, to that mean that the, in the second slide, suppose you want to uh, enter another text that uh, mean the uh, first, uh, suppose objectives, for example, you want to uh, present objective of your project to the audience. Therefore, the second slide, you want to design objectives. Right now, uh, remind uh, how you insert the text using the text box. Right. Uh, then go to the home tab that already selected there. Then go to the drawing, drawing area. Right. Here the drawing area. Look at the mouse pointer I am moving here. Right. Then in the drawing area, in this left side, the small icons. You can see uh, many small icons. Select the very first one, this side. Right. Insert. Yeah, select the text box, then move your mouse to the slide area, then drag and drop. Right? Then select the size of the text box uh, by dragging the mouse. You can determine the size of the text box. Then uh, release the mouse uh, button. Now you can see the text boxes is there. Right. Then subtitle, suppose uh, first title is computer. Hardware. Right. That's the uh, computer hardware. Now type the title. Now you can uh, do some formatting for the text. Right in the text box, if you want to get middle to this text, uh, to the middle of the text box, uh, then first select the text box. Now it is really selected. Now go to the paragraph, paragraph group, or Again, this paragraph group available under home, home tag. Then go to the paragraph group in here, in this area, this area you are having the alignments. Right? Then if you want to get middle alignment, select this one, center alignment. Once you click this center alignment, uh, your text now appear in the center of the text box. Right? Then if you want to uh, increase the size again, you can use this font group, font group available under home tab. In the for, uh, font group, uh, having all the font formatting, one of the formatting is increase in size. Then you can uh, see a number here. That's the default size in this text, 18. Uh, in front, there is a small arrow. Click on the arrow here and uh, then now select the number. If you are uh, selecting a larger number, that means your text become larger. Right? Now I uh, increase the size. Then if you want to bold the text, then you can use uh, under font group available this option bold. Then if you want to italic, underline, right? In that way, uh, the small formatting is there. Right? Then if you want to uh, change the uh, character type, the character types, all the character types are available under font groups uh, in this 
uh, drop down list right this calibri is the default one there's a small arrow click on the small arrow here then you can select uh, any uh, character type from the list right. in that way you can uh, format your text right. then uh, if you want to remove all of this format uh, then suppose you want to remove this underlined part for the computer only the uh, computer uh, word this word you want to remove the underline and the ball then select that first select the required text right that means first select the required text that uh, required text which you want to remove the formatting how you are going to select it right then look at how you are going to select the text uh, using mouse click click and drag it right uh, then you can uh, see here that highlight in the text uh, once you uh, complete highlighting the word computer then stop it right click in and drag it then you can select it right. now uh, here you are going to remove the underline then go to the font group uh, select this underline icon now you can see removing the underline if you want to remove the ball click on the ball right it uh, remove the bald one also if you want to uh, remove the italic then click on the italic part right that's the uh, way how you can remove your formatting right uh, remove your formatting the computer actually the bald is removed but uh, the text type is uh, bald that already bald right that's why it's uh, not appear if you are selected another type of uh, character then you can see uh, this bald one is clearly removing right uh, that's the way of uh, in this video we learn how to open the powerpoint then uh, insert in the text and uh, format in the text also right then next slide we are going to next video we are going to learn uh, more about uh, PowerPoint.